Sorry. George and I performed together the first time, um, what year was it in the 50s? Probably about 1957 or 8, 57 or 8 probably. Uh, George had out, uh, I believe it was the number one record, uh, called A Rose and a Baby Ruth. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, yes, it was. And we were reminiscing about it and... Um, on the bill was Mickey and Sylvia, who had the song called Love is Strange. We all know that. And um, George, myself, and little Richard. And, and we, we all went outside because they said little Richard was going to come in a limo, which we didn't have. And... Um, not only did he have a limo, but when he got out of the car, what, you think it was his manager? Yeah, I think his manager had the uh, red car. Tell him, tell him. Well, Brenda and I were standing out on the on the uh, loading dock, <laughs> <laughs> uh, waiting. <to> <laughs> Thank you, George. <laughs> We were waiting to see the king of rock and roll at that time. Absolutely. And by the way, when Elvis started, most of the songs he sang on shows were Little Richard songs before, well, yeah, before he had hits. Before he had hits, yeah. Little Richard was um, one of his big influences, as Little Richard was to people like the Beatles yes. and a lot of, of course, you, like you said, you traveled internationally, um, as I did, and a lot of our group, groups like the Everly Brothers, uh, uh, Fats Domino, Little Richard, they inspired the English groups That's with right. their harmony and everything. And but get on to that carpet. Well, anyway, the manager rolled this red carpet out, and the limousine door opened, and Little Richard stepped out and walked into the stage area on a red carpet. Wow. Yeah. He did. I, I mean, really, it was over the top. <laughs> that was sweet of you to to get down on your knees to me, George. Thank you so much. And you know what? I, I, if I got down on my knees, I couldn't get back up. <laughs> you know how that is, ladies, right? But I, I was just thinking, uh, when that happened, 1956 or 57, somewhere in there, you were just a teenager. You were a you're a lot younger than me, so I guess you were just a. Well, if it was, if it was in 1958, I was let's see, I was 13, going to be 14. Yeah. Wow. Well, now you know how old I am. But this is this is so wonderful, and may I just say, folks, that uh, in life uh, you meet a lot of people. But seldom do you meet what I call real folks. And this, if, if somebody said, name the top ten nicest people that you've ever met and worked with, George would be number one. creeping up on you. <laughs> He's going to get there. And thank all of you all for coming out here today. And this is so fun. My grandson Charlie is here. And I think uh, that I owe a lot of money uh, before I can leave this store Be because he's picked out locks and keys. And a while ago he came back and he said, no, no. Could I have a hatchet? <laughs> I said, I don't think so. But anyway, he is loving this. And thank all of y'all for being so sweet and gracious this morning. And hallelujah, the weather wasn't so bad that we all couldn't come. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you.